Now, engineers, I know you love to make your components. So if I said there's a way you can make more components, you can become more efficient, reduce your admin, and ultimately become more profitable, I know you'd be interested. So we're here at Hydrofeed to find out how PSL Datatrack have helped them achieve this. When I think Hydrofeed, I do think bar feed systems, but Martin, it's not just that. No, it's not. No, we're well known for our bar feeds and that's our core product. However, over the past few years, we've seen uh, our business grow with our robo job, robotic loading equipment, and of course, the subcontract side of our business has grown considerably. So I've been here uh, almost 40 years, bought the business in 2012, and PSL has become an important part of our growth and taking us onto that next level. Excellent, Martin. Thank you for that. And I think the next step is actually implementing the system. So we're going to have a chat with Julie now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Julie, 25 years of paper-based and DOS-based systems onto the PSL data track system. Daunting challenge? It was a challenge. Um, we, we had to get all of our data on the system. We had to get all of our stock on the system. And we had to convince the staff that it was a good idea. However, we had a huge amount of support from PSL data track. They've got a helpline that we could phone at any time. We were on the phone an awful lot. But with their support, we've actually ma managed to implement the production management system, PSL data track, really well. OK, so getting the data in the system first time is key. It is a daunting challenge, as we mentioned. But now you're a lot more streamlined. But you also mentioned staff and getting them on board. So would you go back? The staff definitely wouldn't go back. It did take a while to convince everybody. But now that they're using it, I don't think they'd want to, to do it any other way. I mean, it's made a big difference to their lives. They can access data at any PC if they need to, um, and it's all live data, so it, it reflects what we're doing at the current time. So Darren, you're using PSL Daytrack on a day-to-day -day basis. I understand it's had a huge impact on the subcontract side of things. Yeah, PSL's had a huge impact on the subcontract side. It, it kind of runs 40, 45% now, hydro feed on subcontract. So people, I mean, people don't really know that they do the subcontract work, but you've got a large, I mean, four or five hundred components? Yeah, currently on the shop floor now, we're in excess of four to five hundred components. So as you can imagine, we're trying to trace, track, order materials, organise treatments for all those jobs that are running currently. That sounds like an absolute logistical nightmare, but PSL Daytrack smoothed it all out? It, it entirely smoothed everything out on that side of the business, um, from quoting to works orders, through to component stock to material stocks. Right, okay, covering those off very briefly then, quoting, how long would it have taken you previously? Uh, previously, 15 minutes, maybe more, to, 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 to create a quote. Yep. Uh, it will take me in excess of one to two minutes now to do a quotation. Oh, right, so a lot, lot quicker. Okay, but you, you're talking, obviously, the production of hydrofeed products and your components, three or 400. If we're talking stock as well, that must be a huge issue in terms of initial and end stock. Yeah, that was logistically a, a big problem for Hydrofeed to start with. With PSO data track now, we are controlling our raw material stocks, our finished component stocks, as well as doing a lot of work for Kanban systems. So we're holding a lot of stock as well. So okay. it's crucial that we control all our stocks on that situation. Okay, but when you say controlling, I assume you're holding a lot less now with the, the help of the PSO data track system. Yeah, entirely. Um, the stock we like to hold now is what we call good stock, which is sellable stock. We have reorder levels put into place. We work closely with our customers, so our products are moving through the shop floor and flowing out the door, and we are holding minimal stock. Okay. So you mentioned your customers there. What about if they get it wrong sometimes? Uh, which is known to be done. I mean, customers do get drawing issue levels wrong, and a repeat order could have the wrong issue level on it. Uh, with PSL, there is a fail-safe kind of system in place. If we, we do a contract review on all orders that come through, and if an issue level is wrong and we're trying to program it, PSL will flag up and say there is an issue with that job. Right, okay, so making it simple. What about then, you've also mentioned off camera work you're doing aerospace, for example. What about traceability, conform certificates of conformity examples? Yeah, and um, that's a big part of our business, to be fair, and the traceability side of it, as you know, is very important. Um, from raw material, buying raw material, to GRN in work into the door, the certification that comes with the material is saved on our system. We have a, a control G, they call it, on the system. Every job that comes up has the certification saved in the background, so it's a click of a button. When we send the jobs into as final product into the customer, we can print our certification within a matter of seconds. Okay, so ultimately you know what stock, what machine, what person. We know everything on the shop floor, everything's yeah. traced, everything's tracked, 
and PSO was really the reason how we can do that. So Dale, we mentioned earlier, logistically, four or 500 components plus your OEM product must be an absolute nightmare in terms of scheduling. Yeah, fortunately PSO do have a, a scheduling module that we've actually prescribed to, so each indiv individual department I can look on and so can the works manager and we can see what work is in each department and what's next on each machine. Okay. Does that tie in as well with overproduction? Yeah, w when we log on the shop floor data control we can actually, we log the components that are made, whether it be over or under, and then on the Faxman reorder list, we can readjust right. whether we make more, whether we make less. Okay, so nice and simple. Now, I know no engineers out there have ever had this before. What happens if a customer phones up and says, I need this urgently? Um, it does happen on a regular basis, to be honest, in this kind of environment. Um, it, we'll look at, we can look on PSO and we can see where the jobs are, where they're queued up in each department, and we can move the system around on the scheduler to, to work with our customers. Brilliant. So making your life, the whole thing, mate, PSL Data Tracks makes your life a lot, lot simpler by the sound of it. Where to next, so? Um, the, ne the next move will be to put the scheduling screens in each department. Yeah. So the, the higher management directors of the business, we can see what jobs are on each machine. Um, it will help the assistants to look at when they get the phone calls of can we bring our jobs forward and we can see the scheduling that side of it. I'd like to bring that into the shop floor and also we'd like to go with the calibration module for the inspection side of the business. We have something set up at the moment which is adequate for our ISO, but the calibration module is far easier and simpler to use on the PSL module. Okay, so again, from what you said, adequate is not acceptable for Hydrofeed. Do you want to be that top end? That's where data track, PSL data tracks come in. Sounds like it's now an integral part of the business. Um, it's definitely an integral part of this business. Um, I don't know what we'd do without it, to be, to be fair. <laughs>